everybody, today I'm bringing you a layout made with the Maggie Holmes Carousel Collection. I was really excited to jump into these um, goodies. So I decided to use that kind of aqua floral or green floral paper as my background. That is Maggie Holmes Carousel. It's the bell paper. And then I am going to use that arrow paper. I really sort of like the idea of that on this particular page, and I'll tell you why in just a little bit. But that arrow paper is called Dazzle. And I was trying to kind of decide what I was going to do, like where I was going to place the paper, if I was going to place it up or at the bottom. I decided I'm going to place it at the bottom. And then I also wanted to use some sort of mat for my photo in this particular case to set it off from that arrow paper just a little bit. And that's where I'm going to use the polka dot paper. And that is the marquee paper. So now I have the kind of the basic structure of my layout down there. But I'm finding that it's a little bit too wide. The band of arrows is a little bit too wide for me. So I chopped one more arrow off. So I now have four, four um, rows of arrows, and I think that's about four inches wide. I'm going to ink with my very favorite gray flannel, Memento Dewdrop ink, which I am actually is almost dried out. So I'm going to happen to be in the, a large city near me this weekend at some point. So I will be getting, stopping at the craft store to get another one of those because I used it this weekend at my craft retreat and it was almost gone. So now I am going to the ephemera pieces from the carousel collection and trying to decide what I want to do. So I found that little um, little ticket there that says today was magic. I chose that heart that says filled with joy and right now I have that photo frame but that's going to change. So then I'm looking for this, I'm, I'm looking at this sheet and basically it's a sheet of punched out tickets with gold foil on it and I really like how cute those are. Um, that paper is called Admission and there, it's just the sheet of those die cuts. It doesn't have, uh, or the punch out tickets. And they have all sorts of cute little things on it. So the one I chose is called Jubilee Park Ride Ticket. All right, so I kind of like the way those are sitting up on top there. And now I want to add something else in. So I have that other ticket there that says, it's just like an eight. And I have that ticket as well, too. And that's where I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do my journaling. Back to the ephemera pieces there. And I found a, a ticket that's sort of a rainbow color, and it says happy. And then I'm kind of playing a little bit with some camera, some like little camera ephemera there. Just kind of going through the ephemera, trying to decide what I like, thinking about using that other banner there, but that will not stick. I do like, when I saw that yay, I was like, oh, I need to use this on this page instead of the the um, frame that I was originally going to use. And the reason that is, is my mom spends summers with me. She lives in a different part of the country during part of the year and then spends summers with me. And my, that's my male cat in the photo with her, and he is such a fraidy cat. I'm his person, and pretty much I am his only person. He's afraid of everybody else, um, and even with me, he can be skittish. So he at least tolerated her, but on this particular day, which was the last day before she left, he actually jumped up on the couch next to her and let her pet him. And his favorite thing to do is to sit next to me on the couch and let me pet him, scratch him underneath his chin. He just loves that. So he actually let her do that. Now, he stayed at an arm's length there, but that was a big deal. So we'll see how it goes when she comes back for Christmas. But this was a really big deal for him <laughs> and for us. 
And she happened to be sitting in the place I usually sit on the couch. We did that on purpose to see if he would come up. And he did. So back to the layout. Um, I am, again, inking all those pieces. It just helps give a little shadow and sets them off a little bit from the backgrounds that they're on. And it's funny because with this one, I didn't pop anything up on foam tape, which I could have done with the heart for sure and a couple of the other pieces, but I just decided not to do it. I know that happens from time to time. All right, so getting those pieces down. And I really like how they look. And now I have that. Um, oh, and you know what I just realized? I forgot that I think that Today Was Magic was actually a sticker, not a, a die cut. It came from the um, sticker sheet, the gold foil sticker sheet. So sorry about that. Forgot about that. It's not from the Thumber Pack, but it is from the carousel um, stickers sheet. So I just trimmed the edge of that ticket off because I wanted it to look like it was actually going off the edge of the of the uh, layout there. And now I want to add a little bit of sparkle and shine. And they had these stars in here, and it kind of reminded me of you know getting gold stars when you do well when you're in school. So I did grab a few of those to kind of sprinkle around the clusters on the layout. And now I'm thinking about a title. So I am using the uh, Gold Foam Alphabet. It's from American Crest Thickers. It's from, it's the Happy Alpha. And um, this one has like a little bit of a green background behind it. And I love these. I have this one, and then I have the one that was from the Maggie Home Shine collection, which is the same exact alphabet, but that one has uh, like a pink, the foam is pink underneath it. These are perfect sizes for smaller titles or subtitles. You can do it for either. And I did put it on my, on my wax paper there just to make sure that it fit across the top of the yay. That would have been one where I probably could have pretty easily just done it without putting it on the wax paper, but I'm so used to using it, I just kind of do that automatically now. It's, it's really helpful when you don't know for sure how you want your title to look or the spacing of the title. All right, I'm just getting my little dots for my eyes there and getting a few other things lined up. And now I just grabbed my glue dots adhesive and that's what I'm going to use to put these stars on. Um, it, I'm going to kind of ball it up a little bit so that I can get it up underneath the star because these stars have a little bit of dimension to them. They're a little 3D. So you see me kind of balling the adhesive up there and then putting it on my finger and then onto the star itself. It probably would have worked if it had stayed flat, but I thought I'd get a little bit better adherence if I balled that adhesive up a little bit. Okay, I'm almost done getting those down. I have one more little touch I'm gonna add in here that you will see. Just making sure everything's kind of secure there. And that one seemed to be floating a little bit, so um, it was floating a little bit and I decided I wanted to pop it in a different place, but that will move again. I think what I decided is, is uh, the reason I didn't like it there was in either that space or the space it was before was because it was lined up almost exactly over the top of the one by the heart. Now I am going to the word stickers um, they're the stickers clear gold foil and I'm going to choose, choose a couple of these to um, 
just to scatter again around the layout in three spots. This one says magical moments at the top, so they're like a clear pink sticker. And I'm just looking for things that will work. And I found this little one. I think this is the little one. Or, yeah. I, my screen is a little bit too small to know for sure. This one says, so sweet. And then I found another one that says, yay. So I'm going to stick that up there. Now, I'm almost done, and I want you to take a look at the still shot and the detail shots. I did add a camera sticker right by that star on the yay on the left side of it, and you'll see that in the still shot and the detail shot. So I'm just going to finish my journaling here. And then I will be all done. I had wanted to put a camera on there, and I totally forgot about it. I used a, one from the gold foil sticker sheets, the, the regular uh, sticker sheet for carousel. It had been off to the side. So anyway, added that in the end, just getting a few details with the date and things down. There's the detail still shot. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back again with another layout again soon. Bye.